。我看了第一眼，我就知道我要给我儿子买。我这辈的人啊，肯定没有过这样的玩具。实验一下。Hi. Hi. I am Bianca. Crystal, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Welcome to. Little Bits 是一家智能玩具创业公司，位于纽约哈德逊河边的一个艺术及创客空间里。二零一一年成立的时候呢，致力于要打造呢像乐高一样风靡全球的益智玩具，并凭借更具科技性的产品，被认为是青少年科技教育的好帮手。公司已经成立五年，发展迅速，获得五轮将近六千两百万美元的投资。今年七月还入选了迪士尼加速器计划。产品设计总监 Christopher Salt 还带着我们创美团队参观了公司，为我们介绍了 Little Bits 的产品。能让孩子获得科学技术的玩具，能否引起投资人的兴趣呢？在创业美国，只给你一分钟，投资人听你说。Hi, my name is Crystal. I'm the director of product design and product management here at Little Bits. At Little Bits, we're on a mission to empower the next generation of inventors with our easy-to-use electronic building blocks. Our company was founded by Aya Bader back in 2011. She's、um, an electronic artist and engineer from the MIT Media Lab. Our team has grown from about three to 110 in the past three years. We focus a lot on education at home and education at schools、um, to empower the next generation to learn the critical thinking skills, creativity, and confidence they need to succeed in their future. A little bit, ah, this company is very interesting. I love this company. From presentation's perspective, this project's message is very clear. Ah, knowing what it is doing, what it is solving, and what it is solving for the users, what it is giving value. Actually, as a new generation of artificial intelligence education, using such a high-tech product to disrupt the market, I think this should be a trend. Ah, because now children can play with toys that are very simple and can have interaction. 啊，把教育和娱乐相结合好的啊，电子类的小产品，我觉得是非常缺失的。I love that the team comes from both an engineering and an arts background, so they really understand both sides of it. 啊，这是过去在这个啊，玩具与这种就是寓教于乐啊，教育与科技的结合的一个很好的典范。比如说 Google 啊等等，都出了自己相关的产品。那么啊，我们坚信在未来来讲的话啊，计算机跟英语语言一样，是大家所必备的一种最基本的。能力，所以说呢，用这样一种寓教于乐的产品，相信有非常好的这样的市场。Here we have the three, three of the types of bits.、Mm -hmm. We have a power bit, and then we can connect to the green bit,、uh -huh. which is the output bit. And my favorite is actually the pink bit,、yeah. because this is how you can control the green bit. Wow, it's a very simple circuit,、um, but with simple circuits, you can do a lot of complex, really fun things and projects. What were the original idea behind a little bit? The company actually started as a tool for professional designers, so nothing for kids. So、um, it really struck me when I saw it because I'm also an industrial designer. I saw a little bit, and I was like, "Wow, this could be a tool for me to prototype my ideas without having to go to an engineer and without having to know how engineering works." So it started off as a designer tool. When did little bit twist a little bit and change the product? Um, for kids, Little Bits exhibited in 2009 before it was a real company and showing off the parts. And kids just swarmed the booth; they just couldn't stop playing with Little Bits. And I think at the time, the team realized, "Wow, there's really a big opportunity here to grow and develop the future designers and like the future inventors of what they would be." Once the company realized, a kids is a big market, so the product has to be、um, customized to、uh, for kids. Or be able to be adopted by kids. Are there anything we have to be aware of when we design products for kids? We always think about little bits as a tool, not a toy. We don't want to make it、um, too too childish or or too simple. And I think kids are a lot smarter. Than we than we think,、yeah. so we try to always, you know, assume that kids are very smart and clever, and we never dumb anything down. 我听过不少的专家说呢，其实好的玩具并不要非常的昂贵，非常的华丽，可能一张纸、一捧沙
，一个橡皮泥都可以成为呢孩子童年的很好的伴侣，因为这样的玩具蕴藏着无数的可能性。我们就是希望呢，用这些玩具去发掘孩子身上的可能性，而 Little Bits 呢，就是这么一个能够发掘可能的小玩具。The building block of our time is、um, reserved for experts. I personally don't accept this, so I decided to change that. We've been giving little bits to kids and seeing them play with them. The nicest thing is how they start to understand the electronics around them from every day that they don't learn at schools. What kind of concept did you want to put into this product? Fun is top priority, and then at the same time, really creating inventions and ideas that are relevant to them that they want to do. So instead of you know a lot of engineering and science curriculum in schools might be kind of stiff and boring, where you're doing calculations and you're talking about like hypothetical situations that you would never encounter, we make sure that the inventions like remote control cars, catapults,、um, backpack alarms to protect your stuff are things that kids care about, so that they're more engaged and they want to. Learn the engineering behind it. What's the difference between a little bit and the regular toys? With little bits, kids can make their own toys, and they can invent their own games and their own devices to play with. Instead of giving them toys to entertain them, they can actually learn about how technology works. 美国人是玩什么玩具长大的？从上世纪六十年代开始，美国孩子们就拥有了最时髦的玩具，突破传统女性形象的芭比娃娃， fair, 以及勇敢爱国的特种部队，成为了美国孩子们的偶像，潜移默化地推动了精神教育。同一时期诞生的超级水枪和呼啦圈，则促进了健身与体育锻炼的热潮。到了七十年代，通过玩具开发孩子的智力成为了主流。魔术方块开启了一代美国人最早的智力爆发。被誉为世纪玩具的乐高，更是陪伴了那些改变世界的 CEO 们的智力启蒙阶段。元老级的桌游 Uno 卡牌，一家老少都能参与，让父母长辈陪伴着孩子一同寓教于乐。八十年代受到流行文化影响，变形金刚和忍者神龟等超级英雄玩具热销美国。随着电子技术的发展，任天堂游戏机成为了九十年代玩具的代表。进入新世纪，玩具进入了智能时代，孩子们与玩具的互动方式也迎来了多元化的发展。Thinking back, like, do you think there is something missing from the toy market or from the educational material or tools market? I think we are addressing a couple gaps.、Um, one big one in in toys and in kids products in general, they tend to be very gender specific. So there'll be toys and products for girls, toys and products for boys, and that's something that here at Little Bits、um, we really want to break that stigma, and we really strive to create products that are gender inclusive. So all of our bits are color coded, and there aren't pink bits for girls and blue bits for boys. They're all just brightly colored to attract everyone. And part of our part of our secret mission is to get more girls involved. Why do you think it's important to have a product gender neutral? I think it's important to inspire a next generation of inventors and designers who will be diverse. Because if we have a diverse group of people thinking about the problems we have in the world, there'll be more diverse and more empathetic solutions. What can kids really learn from playing little bits? With little bits, we sometimes teach kids explicitly, so they can learn actually how everyday things work. And on the other hand, we do a lot of ambush learning, where they might not know it, but by building something and succeeding, they feel. Feeling more confident, and they might take that confidence into school and perform better. Feel like they have good ideas to contribute, and I think the other piece is really the critical thinking skills, questioning things, and like thinking about, wow, how could this be better? 那我看过一个呢美国农业部的数据，如果你是出生在二零一三年的话，长大成人就是到十八岁，那中产阶级呢，平均在一个孩子身上的花费呢是差不多二十四点五万美元。而这个数据当中呢，有个很有意思，就是和五十多年前相比啊，在教育这一块的比重呢，从原来的百分之二提高到了百分之十六，所以美国的家长也是越来越愿意啊，在孩子的智力开发、在孩子的教育成长当中呢，投资。我觉得这公司都有非常非常大的潜力。其实，在这个领域，全球已经有好几家公司在里面竞争
呃，竞争的环境相对会激烈一些，但从产品出来以后，在这方面要多做一些创新，啊、呃，不要简简单单成为一个啊、呃、玩具的厂商，比如说啊、呃，那跟比赛的结合啊，比如说跟。啊、呃，尤其能成为一个，比如说，呃，生态，那么有更多的开发者能上来，能用这些最基础的部件，能够啊、呃、玩出更多好玩的东西，设计出更好的这样的教程，然后在基于一个最简单的硬件的基础之上，能有更多更有新意的课程出来。我相信这个呢，啊、呃，去基于这样一个产品去构建整个生态，是这样一个产品能够成为一个成功商业模式的关键。Tell us how did your company promote the product? We recently were in five schools in New York over the summer, which is really exciting.、Um, and I was surprised sometimes at how quickly the students went through the curriculum and they were ready for more. We have a big community program, so for people that adopted Little Bits very early, and they're all over the world. Some of our biggest community members also own maker spaces, so they run events and and host workshops in their own spaces. So at any given time, you can go to our website and. Click in your city and see if there's a little bit event happening around you. Wow! So that's a, a big community. People upload new inventions to our website every single day. We have thousands of them where you can browse different things that people made. I think we are looking for key partnerships to help us reach that bigger audience. We just announced last week is that we're partnering with Disney to make、uh, two things. One is like a short. YouTube series with Big Hero Six. That's tapping into like what you were saying, what kids are already watching and what they're already doing. And then we're also working on something with Star Wars too. So tapping into these bigger brands and like making invention more. Little Biz 成功结合了智能教育和娱乐，不仅获得了顾客的支持，还得到了投资人的肯定。天使投资时就获得了八十五万美元，种子轮获得三百六十五万美元，在 A 轮融资时呢获得了一千一百一十万美元。那去年呢，公司还获得了四千四百万美元的 B 轮融资。那么我们的创美投资人们又会给他们打多少分呢？ I love that they're going after a B to B and B to C model. They're going after both schools, but also end consumers. And this is obviously a huge market, the market of education, and especially education as it relates to technology. They are very much at the forefront of a really, really interesting trend. I think my only question mark is who would acquire them,、um, and that's something that I'm wondering if they're having conversations around, and how are they going to get to that next phase of growth? But overall, love this company, would love to invest. I would give them a solid nine out of ten. The 总的来说 Little Bits 是一个非常有意思的创创业公司，我打分挺高的，应该是八点七分。那么团队来讲做这件事情的话呢，非常的 authentic， 对这件事情的 passion 可以让我们看到这个产品有美好的未来。想要三百六十度无死角了解这家创业公司吗？请到创美频道点击观看创美特别推出的 VR 视频《创业美国三百六十度看公司》。现在现最近几年在美国出现一个非常显著的一个趋势呢，就是说，呃，学习 VR 开始越来越越来越多的走入学校。有两件事情想讲，第一个是，第一是，比如说生物学教育、生物解剖学，如果你能够以三百六十度立体的方式来观察血管的这个解剖呃解剖学的模型，那嗯，这个效果会好很多。但第二个因素呢，就是交互，你要和这个语言内容有所交互。我们认为，尤其是基于手势的那种交互，能让整个体验，呃，体验整个这个教学内容，这样的感觉，这样的体验整个教学内容变得更加流畅，呃，效果更好。现在呢，我们都喜欢说一个词啊，是创客。那创客呢，似乎成了我们这个时代的一个化身。那创客潮呢，其实呢，也是 Little Bits 他们成长当中啊，一个非常重要的一个历史的时机。因为呢，创客潮的到来，让 Little Bits 这样的小工具呢，变得非常的有价值。而且很有意思的是呢， Little Bits 呢，卖掉自己呢，第一套玩具呢，也就是在 Maker f a i r 
maker movement has been on for a while, right? Yeah. And uh, the maker's age is getting younger and younger. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Yeah. I think it's great and I think it's really exciting to see people get excited about making their own things very early on because I think as they get older, they'll get more advanced and more self-sufficient in things that they want to create. Describe what the kids um, like represent a little bit. When we see kids that really love little bits, um, they tend to be a little mischievous, very curious, and always questioning how things work. They are never taking anything as it is, and they're always taking stuff apart, wanting to improve stuff, um, and maybe challenging the status quo and wanting to create their own things. But they always have a little twinkle in their eye. 科技不断进步的同时呢，科技变得越来越简单。因为科技变得简单了，所以呢，我们可以呢更加轻而易举地把我们的想象变成现实。因为有了像 Little Bits 这样的小玩具，更多的人可以变成创客，可以是小朋友，可以是你和我。What kind of challenge are you facing now? Now we would love to reach people who have never heard of the maker movement, are not engineers, and who have never heard of Little Bits before. Regular people like me. Yeah, just right. 收看更多创业美国独家揭秘创业视频，关注创业美国线上留学生创业大赛，请关注创业美国微信公众号，每周五推送决赛入围团队推荐视频，他们需要你的支持。